Hello, hello, my friends. Last week, I did a candle haul. And in that haul, I told you that part two of my Kringle order would be arriving during that week. And sure enough, it did show up. And so I wanted to share with you the second part of my Kringle candle order that arrived. Now, this is from the post-holiday sale that is no longer going on. Um, I do believe, well, I'm filming this a few days before this goes live, so I hope that the sale is still running at the time that this video goes up, but I do know that Kringle is running a two for 30 on their medium sized tumblers, as well as a two for 40 on their large size tumblers. So most of them are, it's some kind of like Valentine's Day special. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to share with you a couple of the scents that I picked up from Kringle. A few of them are restocks of scents that I already know and love and quite a few of them are new to me. So let's not waste any more time. Let's dive into this haul. So I'm gonna go ahead and start out with some candles that are repurchases for me. The first one being Winter Wonder. Now, um, oh, I loved this one so much. The scent notes are not listed on the bottom of this candle. I know that they are starting to try to do that, but I, on the packaging of most of these, I don't believe that the scent notes are listed. Um, I will make sure that I have, if any of these are in stock still, I will make sure that I have them linked in the description box down below because Kringle scent stories are a little bit more complicated than say, um, or like the scent notes that they list are a little bit more lengthy than Homeworks or Bath and Body Works. So I would be here forever if I'm going over and telling you all of the scent notes in it. But um, Winter Wonder, oh, I've, I've talked about this before. If you are familiar with Homework Snow Tipped Pine, very, very similar scent. Um, it's a cool tree note. It, it is perfect in January when I am tired of heavy, warm tree notes. This is more of a, like you're walking through a wintry forest, snowy forest. Oh, fresh, cool, clean tree note, absolute perfection. Um, I've been using that one to blend with quite a few other Kringle scents this week, but really glad to have that in my collection. Um, this one and maybe a couple of the other ones. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do is I'll tell you the ones that are repurchases and they are actually going to be um, going into my closet until the next holiday season because for me, I'm a seasonal burner and I'm ready to move on to spring, but Still wanted to share with you what I picked up because some of you are not seasonal burners and you burn whatever you want year round, which is good for you. All right, the next candle that um, I have actually had this one in the two wick tumblers, but I have not yet purchased it in the three wick 100% soy. This is Cozy Cabin. Now I kind of love this beautiful, simple print of these three wick jars. I feel like they look very classy and sophisticated. Oh, Cozy Cabin. One of my favorite scents from Kringle. Um, oh, they actually have the fragrance notes listed on this one. It's firewood, cedarwood, brown sugar, cinnamon bark, vanilla, warm maple. I do get some of that firewood and cedarwood with a little bit of that, that warm maple is in here, but this is not necessarily a cloyingly sweet maple scent. A lot of people actually say that when they smell this one, a friend of mine said this, and then I, when I've shared this before, others of you have said, yeah, that's what I smell too. It reminds me of like wet firewood, when you go outside to collect firewood and it's been either there's snow accumulated on it or rain. Oh, but I love it. There's a warmth to it. Um, there's the coziness of some spices in there. This is an amazing scent. So I was glad to pick up another one to have in ha on hand. I think that that is a perfect candle to burn pretty much anywhere November through even February, um, depending on where you live and what your weather is like. Or again, if you like it year round, it's just a great one to have in your collection. Um, one of the top candles that I discovered last year, and it was during the holiday season, and I thought, oh boy, I want to have this in my collection going forward, is their scent Christmas. Now, this, is, I believe, has been one of their best-selling scents, especially for the holiday season for the last 12 years, I think. Um, and I don't know if they release these every year because Kringle was new to me last year. It is honestly probably the brand that I am the most excited about going into 2023. Um, so I don't know if they have always offer these every single year, but last year in 2022, they offered, I haven't even taken them out of the, the um, wrapping here. Let me go ahead and do that real quick. All right, so I went ahead and unwrapped one, but I honestly don't want to unwrap all of them because 
Uh, I, I just want to be able to preserve the scent maybe a little bit more. But I picked up this three pack of the Christmas scent in these little ornament jars. Now there's one in white, there's red, and there's also green. Let me pick them up. The reflection of the like saran wrap around it might um, be reflected in the light there. However, this was an amazing deal. This was $30 for three of these. Now the size of these are also the same as the size of these three wick 100% soy. Like, so the packaging's a little bit different, but in terms of the ounces in here, uh, this one is 14 ounces, I believe. Yes, 14 ounces, and this one also says that it is 14 ounces. So essentially, I got 14 ounce candles for $10 each. Um, that was an amazing steal. These are in the 100% soy formula as well. And I thought, you know what? I want to have those around for next Christmas where I can either space them around my house or I can gift one to a friend. Um, who knows what I'll choose to do when that time comes. But I was really glad to have that one back in my collection. I do have reviews. I do know that I have dedicated reviews on the two wick of Cozy Cabin and also on the three wick 100% soy of the Christmas candle. I do believe that that is sold out right now. Um, but yeah, if you're just curious about further in-depth thoughts on those scents, make sure that you check out those reviews. All right, let's go ahead and talk about some scents that are new to me. Um, starting with one that um, is pretty popular. This is the scent Cran Mary. Now, obviously this is not going to be a scent that I am going to be burning anytime soon. This is one probably that I will begin burning late October, November maybe. But I'm gonna tell you, you know what's funny about this one? Oh, this one does have the scent notes listed on it. Cran Mary, sparkling cranberry, frosted juniper berry, juicy orange, bright raspberry, sugared pine, and sweet vanilla bean. Okay, and it's interesting that they have those notes listed there because when I, when I picked this up, yes, I do smell some of the tartness of cranberry in here, but a little bit of that raspberry note is coming through on cold sniff. And it reminds me a bit of raspberry if you are um, a child of the 80s, grew up in the 90s, you know, graduated high school in the 2000s. This reminds me a bit of sun ripened raspberry from Bath and Body Works. There's something that it's that raspberry note. Now I'm not saying that this is a dupe of that, not at all, but, but there is something that my initial impression when I smelled this right away, I smelled that raspberry note in here. Regardless, I think that this will be a beautiful scent um, to burn actually probably even starting in fall, especially if you like um, maybe like some raspberry scents to transition from fall or from summer into fall. Um, very pretty scent. Now, the, the jar on this one, the, the painting, which is absolutely beautiful, by the way, does really scream more of a holiday motif, but I actually really like this scent. I'll be, I'll be ready for it, I think, come late fall when I'm, you know, transitioning out of pumpkin and apple, but not yet ready for trees. That'll be a great scent. And then another one that I picked up, it's funny, I know that a lot of my friends who um, review candles have also said that some of the Kringle holiday releases didn't quite fit like a normal, like holiday, um, just wasn't traditional holiday in a lot of their minds. And so one of the, the candles that they talked about was this Bavarian Christmas. Now this is the three wick 100% soy. I thought that the label on this one would go well in my home. Uh, the scent notes are not listed on this one. There is a little bit of like a fruity lemon note in this one, but this is actually not a fruity candle because the first thing that I smell when I open this one, cold sniff, there's almost like a leathery note to this on cold. Now I haven't burned this yet. This is one actually that I do think that I am going to start burning pretty soon. This to me is kind of like an evening candle. So even though I, um, I've said that I am a seasonal burner, I tend to be a like certain candles fit certain times of the day for me as well. Typically like some, um, like lighter gourmand fares, typically morning, and then maybe a floral might be during the day. And then I like like heavier scents in the evening. But yeah, there there's some type of, it's kind of funny. I do smell a little bit of like a citrus zest in here, but I definitely get, there's like a leather type of scent to this. Now I have never spent Christmas in Bavaria. I would love to. I'd love to go to like, Europe in in around Christmas time. That is on my bucket list. But there's something 
you know what? It's so funny. When I smelled this at first and I had my husband smell it, he said, it, um, he said oh, it reminds me of, there's a store in our community. Um, I, live, I live in Arizona. And um, the community that I live in, we get a lot of people who are in like, um, I don't want to say the rodeo circuit, but like a lot of horse people, like a lot of people in our community own horses. And this smells like the, um, like our local store that has, like they offer clothing and boots and stuff, but they also sell tack and hay and all that kind of stuff. And I feel like that's what this, this kind of reminds me of, but in a good way, not in a bad way. But yeah, he was like, oh yeah, it smells like that store when we go in there. A nice scent, I'm excited to try burning it at night. And then another scent that I picked up with the intention of wanting to burn it at night if I don't spill everything here. Let me use two hands here, Katie. All right, this one in, I found intriguing. This is amber wood. Now I have discovered over the last year, I like a lot of cedar wood, um, but I have also found that amber tends to be a note that I like in a lot of fragrances. And so this one intrigued me. I did pick it up in the Two Wick 100% Soy. And it's so funny because I do believe that bourbon is a note that is listed in this one. I, I didn't go on and check the description right before I started filming. I'm sorry. But like I said, I will have this linked down below so you can go ahead and check out the notes. Do you know what this smells like on cold? It smells like rum and Coke. <laughs> That's what it smells like to me. It smells like a rum and Coke. Slight powderiness there in the background. But yeah, that's like just my initial thought when I open it up and smell it on cold. That's what I think of is rum and Coke. Delicious. Maybe I should get a straw and drink that before going to bed. Actually, fun, funny thing, funny fact about me. I actually do not drink a lot. Um, it's not really my thing. I, you might catch me with a daiquiri like by the pool in the summertime or every once in a while when we go out to dinner, I might have a drink, but, um, not really something that I just like love doing. I No shade to anybody who does enjoy it. It's just not really my thing, but that does smell like rum and Coke. I actually like it. So um, I think that one and this Bavarian Christmas will be candles that I will probably start burning here pretty soon just to gauge, you know, how much I like them. All right. And then a couple of scents I picked up in the daylights, which honestly, that is one of my favorite things about Kringle is that they offer a lot of their fragrances, almost all of them, I think, in these little daylight formats. So if you are not familiar with what a daylight is, it is just basically these little tiny votives on steroids, but they are they are completely enclosed. So you don't have to worry about, you know, placing them in an actual votive holder. I mean, I guess you could place it in something else, but it's just enough that um, it gives you enough time to light it and then determine if you like the scent, not only on cold, but then when you light it, we all know that oftentimes um, fragrances take on a whole new meaning once they are, you know, melting. So. Um, this one in particular is sea salt and tonka. And this is a very clean scent. You get that sea salt beachy type of vibe with it, but it's also very fresh and clean. That, that tonka bean is in there. I'm going to tell you, this one is probably not one that is like, oh, I would have you know, like say for example, I'm in a bath and body works and I'm going around looking and I'm just lifting up candles and sniffing on cold sniff, like most of us shop. Um, this is probably not one that I would have purchased based on that, but it is very clean, slightly aquatic because of that sea salt note. I do like it. I don't love it, um, but I will go ahead and burn it because like I said, sometimes it completely transforms upon burn and then I find myself finding some new fragrances. Um, another one that I picked up, oh, this is a fall scent because I wanted to make sure that I would like it for next fall, although I'm sure Kringle will come out with new fall scents next year. But I believe that this one was new this year. It was gorgeous. This is nice. This is, um, there's a creaminess to this, but not like a heavy cream like um, white pumpkin or anything like that some spice in there, like you get a little bit of cinnamon and vanilla, slight pumpkin note to it, but not, not overly pumpkin. I do actually like that one. I would probably consider purchasing that one in a full size um, for next fall. And then this one was a fall release, but I, a lot of my friends who reviewed this said that they didn't really think of fall when they smelled this one. This is Velo. And I agree. 
This is perfumey. This reminds me of a perfume that I have smelled and I don't know exactly where it is. I'm like on the fence of this one. Do I like it? Do I not? Um, it's pleasant. I, I, can, I can say that I don't not like it. What is in this? It's a heavy scent. Maybe a little bit of citrus in there. There, It's not a gourmand. There's no like food scent to this. This reminds me of like if I were in a, one of those great estates in Europe or something like, this is like what their homes would smell like. Not musty, not like that, but just, it smells fancy to me. <laughs> it, it has like a fancy smell to it. I don't know. I'd have to link and see what the scent notes on the, are on that. It doesn't say on here. And I film on my phone, so I can't even pull it up on my phone right now. But um, I, I do like that one. Another scent that I picked up, and this was because Melanie was raving about it, is Sanctuary. Now, this is in the Country Candle line, which honestly, I don't really purchase from a whole lot because I am not a big fan of paraffin wax. It just doesn't do well in my home. It gets very sooty, um, and I just don't find the performance to be as great as the 100% soy, although I have heard some rumblings that changes are coming to the Country lineup. So um, I thought, well, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and pick up a Daylight in it just to see if I like the scent because then if they do something new in the country candle line, I'll know whether or not I want to pick up that scent. This is nice. This is like, um, there's a spiciness to this, but not ne like a necessarily gourmand spiciness. This reminds me a little bit of like, um, when I walk into like um, boutique craft type of stores, um, but not, not like when you go into Michael's or like, it, it's a nice scent. It's not, um, it's very pleasing. I don't know what I'm smelling in here. Maybe a little bit of some, is there citrus in here? An earthiness. It's earthy, but sweet. A little bit of some floral note in there. That's beautiful. Um, I do like it. I feel like that would be like another like evening scent or maybe a good fall transitional scent. Um, the packaging is really pretty or like the picture on here. It's this little like canoe with some fall foliage behind it and it's foggy. It does remind me of the fall. Hmm. I actually do really like that one. Okay. And then a couple of candles are, the, are tea lights. Oh, okay, yes, two of these are like ones that I was interested in for summer, and then one is just a gourmand that I was interested in. This is Donut Worry. I know a lot of people have talked about this one before. Um, this smells, this smells like the icing on the donut. This is a very sweet scent. Um, I could see that this one might be borderline cloying for some people. You get, I get like a vanilla in here, but I get a sugar, like the sweetness is from sugar for sure in here. It, it smells very much like the icing on a donut, um, but very nice. Could be a good like blending candle to go with some other ones. I like it. I'm not sure that I love it enough that I'm like, oh, I'm gonna need that one in full size, but it's a very nice scent, a good gourmand like base type of scent. And then these other two were ones, again, most of you discovered me because of Melanie's channel, um, but Melanie, I remember did reviews on these, was it last year or maybe the year before? And um, she was talking about how these surprisingly, she really, really enjoyed them. So this one is Ginger Lily and Palm. This is one I will pick up in full size. This is good. This is um, like a clean, summer type of scent, but it's not necessarily, it's not like laundry cleaner. There's a bit of a green note in here. Maybe that palm. It almost, and I mean this in the best way, it almost reminds me of like, like a hand soap or something I've used when I've been on a cruise. 
I really like it. It's clean, but it's it's summer to me. I, I definitely think summer. This is not, it's not coconut summer. So if you were somebody who doesn't want really like the typical summer scents of like, say like hibiscus or coconut or um, what's some other popular like summery type of scents I always think of, like those tropical fruits. That's not this at all. This is very much like a, um, I almost wanna say like a soft summer type of floral note. Ooh, but that's really, really good. I definitely wanna pick that one up in a larger size. All right, and this one is Fiji, which I have a feeling is a popular scent because I feel like the daylights in particular seem to go in and out of stock quite often. This is good. This is very much like a, a, a summer aquatic type of scent. It's not necessarily very unique. I feel like I've smelled this maybe at Bath & Body Works before. Like, so like it's similar to something that I could get there. It's an aquatic, fresh scent. A little bit of a floral note in the background. But it's good. It's good. I'll have to burn that one. I actually could see myself purchasing that one in a bigger size. Um, but I, I do like it. So... That is it for the second part of my Kringle haul. Um, let me know if there are any candles here. You know, like I said, quite a few of them are gonna be put away until fall, winter of, I keep saying next year, but it, that would actually be this year. That would be actually probably in, it will honestly probably be in the blink of an eye and then I will be breaking these out again. But um, let me know if you want me to give any reviews on this Bavarian Christmas or what's this other one here? Um, Amber, Amber Wood, is that what it was called? The one that smells like rum and Coke. Um, or if you have any of these in larger sizes, uh, let me know what, I don't know, just let me know what you guys would like to see coming from me first because I do try to prioritize. I mean, obviously I want to burn candles that I am enjoying and I do make sure that I do that, but I also want to make sure that I am getting reviews out for all of you so that way you can make informed choices as well as sales come, come along and whatnot. So yes, very excited to have even more candles in my collection. And um, yes, don't forget that if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button really helps me out. Also, if you're just stumbling across my channel for the first time, hi, I'm Katie as my title name, but well, the name of my channel would probably imply. Uh, I am a 38 year old wife, mom, who just happens to love candles and a little bit of beauty and likes to talk about it here on my channel. I am unsponsored. I don't receive any PR. My channel is pretty small. Nobody knows who I am. So all of my opinions are always very honest and um, yeah, so I just hope that you will stick around if you find yourself enjoying this video or other ones like the ones that YouTube is going to suggest at the end of this video. All right, you guys, thank you so much for spending your time here with me today. And you guys know the drill. Until my next video, I hope you all go out and have a very blessed day. Bye.